Hello everyone, I'm bringing you another video here today and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the roster file for NCAA 14 um, also with the college football revamped mod so in my previous video I already showed you how to install the RPCS3 emulator install the mod and all that good stuff so now I'm going to be showing you how to get the roster file so you can get the up-to-date roster for the 2022-2023 season. So the first thing you would want to do is go to this um, link. This is my actual um, file uploader site so um, you don't have to sign in or anything. So once you get on here um, it's going to show an ad and stuff so just ignore this. You just want to click this button up here to download. And then I'll actually just save this on the desktop and into the NCAA uh, 14 folder, just like in my old vid uh, video. Click save, and then it's already downloaded. I'm just gonna minimize that. Um, so let me refresh this here to show you that the file downloaded. So right here it is. I'm gonna just open that up real quick and then this is what we want to put into this folder here so you would want to go into wherever you put your emulator in the game so i put it into um actually let me double check where did i actually put that did i accidentally copy something That's, that's weird. But anyways, you would want to go into here, into wherever you put the emulator, dev hdd0. You would want to then go into home, 0000001, save data. And then in this folder right here, you want to go into this and then drag and drop this roster file into this save data directory. Now once that's done you want to go back to the root directory where the emulator is. You want to launch the emulator and then um, I, I have an update for the emulator but I'm going to ignore that for now. And then you want to right click this at boot. Now um, if you don't already have a roster file um, you won't have to, it generally selects the roster file for you, but uh, I'll show you how to select it in game if you've already edited rosters and stuff like that. So once it loads up, I'll uh, show, you what you, show you what I mean. Just taking a few seconds here. All right. Once you get to the main menu, obviously click start, and then once it loads up into the main menu, you would want to go to settings, go all the way over to file management, go to delete, and then you want to go down to roster file, and then the one that you want to select is the one that just says I. Um, that will be the new and updated one, so just tap A on it. It loaded it up, and then if we go back and view team management, depth chart, there we go, Michigan State has Noah Kim, um, Michigan, JJ McCarthy, um, who else, let's say Ohio State, it should be 
Ohio McCord. Yep. And then Alabama. Check on that. Um, obviously, it's, it's going to be up to date because you've seen the other one. But Alabama, there's Jalen Milroy. So, I mean, everything's um, pretty much the 2022-2023 season. This is the latest up-to-date roster that I could find. But that's how you apply it and then load it into, into the game. But uh, if you guys enjoyed and if it helped you guys out, please leave a like and comment what I should do next. Um, maybe there's other mods that I can try and show you how to implement, or maybe an entirely other different video. But uh, like I said, if you guys enjoyed and this helped, um, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.